Hello, hello, welcome back. We are in the sideboard for game number two against Green Red Tron. We are going to bring out cards that don't do anything, um, like Lightning Helix, uh, Skull Crack. Mm, there's probably better. All right, uh, coming in, Molten Rains and revelries so coming out searing blaze is not a very live card in this matchup uh, we could even bring them all out in favor of like a singleton path just uh No, that doesn't even deal with Karn. I guess Blaze is fine. I mean, at least unlike Searing Blood, you don't have to kill the creature. So it's just two mana, three damage if he has a creature. Um, we're on the play. And we're going to keep it. This might be my aversion to getting flooded, uh, like we did last game showing, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do, and opponent is having a think about his own hand. So, probably not in the worst place. Go ahead and fetch up the stomping ground. That's for later. Play a Swift Spear. And remember to attack. Very important. Critical step. Okay. Similar start to last time. Which was a very slow start, I should mention. I think we just suspend here. It's kind of the weakest card in our hand. Um, would love to be able to jam Abbott. But this way we get two uh, prowess triggers next turn. So it's kind of like a, putting a penny in your piggy bank. And that's assuming we don't draw another land. We get to cast... Uh, Rift Bolt from Exile, cast Lava Spike, and do nine. Ooh. Well, that's going to be a problem. Target you. If he pays two life here, we don't mind, really. No? Okay. We did draw the land, so let's take a think here. We need to fetch a non-basic. I think our best line is probably still just Lava Spike opponent. Uh, again, he can pay two life and take three to his spell sky, in which case he's obligated to not block when we attack for three. Uh, the other option is probably looking at uh, Atarka's command right now, but if possible, you want to use that as a finisher, especially considering the fact that we have another... Uh, prowess creature on deck here. So I think we fetch a sacred foundry. And uh, untapped and play Lava Mancer this turn as well. <clears throat> 
just uh, looking at the most efficient uses of our mana. Okay, so opponent uh, can block here undaunted. So we will just leave Swift Spear back, but he has taken six. All right, Lava Mancer is here. Opponent uh, does not have turn three Tron, at least not yet, so that's good news. He made red, which leads me to believe that something is getting galvanic blasted here. Or, yeah, pyroclasm clearing up quite nicely. All right. Got to land there, but let's see. All right. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think we just play Abbott. And play the Heath, which is just fine. And we can end step fetch our Sacred Foundry. Oh, we'll just do it now. Not pay the life. And pass. And this sets us up to both Boros Charm and Atarka's Command. He uh, gets the power plant, so he'll untap with Tron. He can make five mana right now, so we won't see a worm coil this turn. Okay, he's getting backups. I guess. Or we'll see what he uh, reveals here. I have Ugin. Ah, yes. Drew a windswept teeth. Cool. Okay, deal four to you. Whoops. Learn how to pay mana costs. Deal three to you, and my opponents get plus one, plus one. Or my, my opponents. Uh, my creatures. Would be awkward. Oblige your spell skite to block, sir. Sir, pardon me. Thank you. And uh, we'll see where that goes. Oh, we could flood out like game one. It's a uh, part of the, you know, roll of the dice there. Here's a uh, Warmington T engine. Nah, Lord have mercy. Okay. Um, opponent's got a live worm coil engine. We've got a bunch of land. 
This should not take a lot longer to resolve. Unfortunately, you know, maybe it uh, is a case of needing to go back to the drawing board, actually bite the bullet, take the abbots out, uh, put some goblin guides in. As much as this card is a value engine, it's not uh, like a turn three or four kill type of card like you would be looking for. He's going to gain six here. That is troublesome. Basically uh, switched life totals on that turn. There's a Karn. Get our Abbot exiled. And we'll see what we draw, but beyond that, um, this game is more or less over. Mm, well, let's just revelry it for the gigs. Uh, we'll revelry it, of course, when he attacks. Oh, you thought it was going to, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's what we drew. Get over it. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Yeah, there we go. We got some smaller life-linking death touchers. What a joy. Yeah, we'll exile this windswept teeth. No problems there. He's cashing in the eyes. Abbott is fine. Yeah, we'll see what we get. Mounting. We'll play it. Uh, we'll concede here. However, you know, it's been real. Uh, real floody. Hope you wore your high waters today. At any rate, there were probably some players. I'm a relatively new burn player, not a new magic player, as you hopefully can tell. Um, <laughs> at any rate, I'll get better with the deck. The deck itself uh, may need a little ironing out. Down on windswept heaths, up on some other red fetch. Uh, but, you know, it's a learning process. And I hope you'll join me for the next modern match where we will pick up uh, one in the win column. That's the goal. And thank you for watching. And as always, if you want more modern videos, if you like my mono red standard videos, if you like the soon to be released, I don't know how you would like a soon to be released video, but you know, your enthusiasm might be so unbridled that that is the case. What I'm trying to get at is hit that subscribe button. It'll be super easy for you to watch all the things I've described and more. Your wildest dreams will come true. But until then, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.